Yeah, I saw that too. I was actually about to say it. Bo Nix had 77% completion rate. Uh, and the first half was in the mid-60s. Ah. And what's absolutely crazy about that is uh, Bo Nix has been, what, in the in the 70s, the mid-70s roughly, about 71, 72, so I guess low 70s uh, in completion rate for pretty much the entire season. And he comes out and completes almost 80% of his passes in this game against Cal. That is a uh, that's an insane stat, and I think that's going to bump him up. Hopefully, he gets into 72, 73 percent uh, overall when you start to factor in everything there. And I mean, and it, this was not an easy game for Knicks. Uh, if no, if you really pay attention to a lot of you know what Oregon has done this whole season offensively, this game. They did all the play actions, but they had a real passing identity in this game because I think yeah. they saw that they weren't going to really just run it down Cal's throat. But if you watched half those play action passes, Nick's never threw it. He pulled it down or did check downs. He, he did not like the deep shots. They weren't open. Cal actually was defending it really well, I would say. Yeah, I was genuine. I was genuinely surprised about how many times they did not go down the field with the ball, uh, especially with Troy Franklin being as good as he is and as reliable as they've been, even against UCLA, who was considered to be an excellent team at the time that we played them. It still is uh, I, that that pass, that one pass from uh, to UCLA where he threw it, uh, what forty yards to catch, and then for a touchdown, Troy Franklin got. Uh, I, it was beautiful. Even the announcers are saying the angels looked down upon that. They literally said that in the game. Angels looked down upon that play, <laughs> that pass to deliver it into Troy Franklin's hands perfectly. And yeah, that was, me a uh, touchdown. That was a beautiful. It was a, officially, I think I was 49 yards, but yeah, he threw it yeah. like 56 or 57 yards yeah. from the line. But I mean, yeah, this one, he, he pulled it down, ran it or checked it down. Like, most of the game. So Cal was giving them looks that, you know, he didn't like. And that's a big thing though. He's not forcing it yeah, into bad situations. And that's why I've, I've argued it. I said, I think we can say bad bow is gone. He may have had two yeah. picks this day, but the, you look at those picks, how they happened. Those weren't really whatever. Those weren't on like him exactly. So, I mean, Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, even previous, we had a conversation. You know, we have everyone's been saying all year long. You have good bow and you have bad bow. Yeah, I see that chat too. Uh, I think you're right. Bad bow is gone. I think this is our closest version that we're going to get to bad bow. Bad bow is still what Auburn would consider to be good bow. Now our version of good bow is excellent bow. Even Dan Lanning himself said in an interview, "I believe that." Bo Nix is playing at an elite level. He said that in one of his interviews. And I got to admit, after seeing this game, if this is the worst that he does, that's hard to argue with. Yeah, I mean, because, again, you we, and we, we kind of went over it a little bit. And I mean, I'm sorry, a pick at halftime, whatever, on a Hail Mary. It's yeah. going to happen. Every quarterback has that. It's going to happen a couple times a season. You're just trying to do something, whatever. And the other one was literally Franklin tipping the ball up, and the defender just made a ridiculous grab. But it, the pass wasn't even that bad. That was on the receiver. Yeah. But it goes yeah. on both stats. Uh, it is what it is. But if that's how he throws all his interceptions, I mean, I'll I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, uh, especially considering what a year ago Anthony Brown threw a pretty good amount of interceptions just trying to make plays happen like people were telling us bad bow would do but bad bow here is not making poor decisions i think they were still good decisions just happened to not run his way that pass with the interception on the hail mary was a little short <laughs> uh, nobody is going to deny that but uh either way it was a hail mary you got a 50 50 chance of it kind of getting intercepted anyway even back watch. to well go ahead oh, sorry say if you watch it again anyways there was like literally three receivers against like six defenders back there i mean you know it was prevent they they were back there waiting for it i mean i was actually surprised we even tried i thought we would just run the ball and <laughs> go to half to be honest but whatever yeah I'm okay. i agree with that I, I i thought there was a chance that we might not go for the hail mary yeah that's right i guess they don't they're not into stats i suppose uh speaking of stats uh, in previous years, Bo Nix is sitting at 71.5%. And I see this comment down there. Uh, 
to compare to his previous seasons at 61% passing. And then that was 2021, 2019, 57% passing. That is a <coughs> tremendous improvement. I mean, you're talking almost 20% or not quite 20%, but 15% roughly from previous years past. That, no, that That's a huge increase for any quarterback. And I mean, this is not like just dinking, dunking, check down at all screens. This is also taking shots down the field. I I wish I did have it in front of me right now. And I'm guessing that Alex is going to pull it out before I could even find it. Uh, yeah. What is Bo Nix's average yards per attempt? Ooh. It's, it's probably relatively high. You know, this is not like he's just – barely like throwing it a couple yards per pass and letting the receivers do everything. He's throwing it down the field. And that's what makes the completion percentage even more, uh, you know, kind of spectacular is that he's forcing it downfield a lot and the receivers are coming up big for him. Oh yeah. And while we make, we'll wait for that stat, uh, something we didn't necessarily discuss as much Irving number zero Irving has been one of the most stellar running backs we've had all year. He got stuffed in this particular game. I mean, he was not able to get a first down to save his life. And this is a guy who would, it's even against UCLA, run, make contact, and get five yards. I don't know how he did it. He'd do a spin and get five more yards after that. No, Ir- Irving and Whittington have been amazing. I mean, we, we've we barely gotten to see Carwell because he's been injured. Uh, no one's really specified what the injury still is that I'm aware of, except for the fact that the coaching staff said he can come back when he feels ready. But at this point, I'm wondering if he's just going to redshirt. Yeah. It could take a redshirt or a medical year or something like that because uh, he only played like three games. And since then, yeah, uh, Bucky has absolutely taken over the backfield. Absolutely. I mean, 100%. He's done a tremendous job. Oh, there it is. Yeah, <laughs> let's see it wow. pop up. Hey, um, per attempt, that's 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 pretty. That's decent. That's decent. Yeah, that's you know, basically, if you attempt it twice, you're getting a first down, almost guaranteed. <laughs> and yeah, per, mean, completion, that's, that's, per completion, per completion, eight yards. That was the number I saw right now. I was like, ooh, per completion, I'm, almost twelve yards. Per completion. <laughs> that's. I mean, if you think about those numbers, some people might say, oh. 8.4 per attempt. Okay. Almost 12 per completion, though? 